Y'all, welcome back to undergroundwellness.com. We're hanging out with David Getoff today. We just got done filming a segment for the Underground Wellness Show. The topic was all about water, so I asked you guys to submit some of your Facebook questions for David, and we're gonna go right to him. David, this question is from Chris Sharpham. He says, what does David G think of water ionizers? I just got a Jupiter ionizer alkalizer, which produces what they call in Japan, Kangen water, which means return to origin. Water in its natural, original state. It is really amazing stuff, never tasted better. What's your, what's your take on that? Uh, well, first of all, uh, Jupiter is simply the brand name of one of the water alkalizers, or ionizers. There are many different ones. I, I like the Akai unit best. Uh, Kangen is the name of a company that makes a network marketed water ionizer for thousands of dollars more than it's worth in my opinion and so Kangen water would really be something that comes out of a Kangen machine and that's not one of the machines I like. Uh, but as far as water ionizers in general, Jupiter, the Akai that I like or whichever, uh, I like them as long as you never boost the setting too high so that the water that you're getting out of it uh, is never made to be at above maximum a pH of 8.5 and that you make sure that the one that you've got is not able to release anything into your water because a whole bunch of the units, and I believe Kangen is one of these but you'd have to check, have a cartridge in there that actually can release a chemical into the water to boost its pH even higher in case you want to use the water to get stains out of clothing and things like that. And I don't want something that's designed to filter our water that has a chemical in it that's not good for me that it can release into the water. So as long as you don't have that ability in your machine, uh, I like the water ionizers, just don't bring them up too high because, you know, you're, you're using something like a drug if you bring it up too high. Right. And if it starts to make you feel bad in any way, don't say, oh, that's good. No, that's not good. You're doing something too fast. Uh -huh. Bring it back down to a lower pH, go up more slowly, or use a lower pH. Gotcha. So it's a yay. It's a yay. Right yeah. on. Chris, thanks for that one. Let's, let's give you one more. Uh, let's see. Alan Crowder, his question is, should I install a water filter in my shower? Should he? Absolutely he should install a water filter in a shower, unless he happens to have a whole house water filter, and he's already pulling out everything that needs to be pulled out, which if he was doing that, he wouldn't have asked us. So yes, he should install a water filter in a shower. Get a good one like rain shower. There are a couple of good ones out there, because anything that will re reduce the chlorine, or close to eliminate it, so that you're not taking a cancer-causing, very drying, horrible for your body for real. product, which you're being bathed in, and you're in an enclosed area, and it's warm, and your pores are open saying, oh good, let me absorb all this chlorine. Yeah, if you can put a filter on that'll reduce that or remove it, good idea. Cool. Guys, thanks so much for the questions. David, you're gonna be on the Underground Wellness Show early July. Okay. But in the meantime, where can our people learn more about you? Uh, my website's the easiest, and although it's got an actual web address, just use my name, David Getoff. But you gotta remember that Get is spelled G-E-T, and Off is spelled O-F-F, even though it's a name, don't change it. <laughs> DavidGetOff.com will bring you there. You'll probably enjoy most going to the MP3 lectures and recordings area, but there's no shopping cart on my website. I'm not selling you anything. I'm giving you information. Enjoy it. Right on. David, thanks so much. You're welcome. We're out of here. Peace.